we need to feel safer in indoor spaces like cinemas, offices, schools, and retail, anywhere people gather. We need technology designed to inactivate harmful pathogens continually and effectively while people are present. What if this technology already exists? We need to start with the sun. Sunlight spans a spectrum of visible and invisible light. Let's zoom in on invisible ultraviolet or UV light. UV light includes three bands of wavelengths, UVA, UVB, and UVC. What's the difference? Using UVC light to inactivate pathogens isn't new, but conventional germicidal lamps can't be safely used around people because UVC with longer wavelengths can damage our eyes and skin. What's new is the discovery of a sweet spot on the UV spectrum. Far UVC light with shorter 222 nanometer wavelengths that can continually and effectively inactivate pathogens around people. But how is this possible? Far UVC's 222 nanometer shorter wavelengths can't deeply penetrate the protective outer layers of our eyes and skin, and are just as effective at reducing airborne and surface pathogens. How does it work? Far UVC light inactivates pathogens like coronaviruses by damaging their RNA, which effectively neutralizes them since they are unable to reproduce. In fact, recent studies have shown that even extreme exposure to filtered far UVC light at values exponentially higher than current guidelines does not harm human skin. Filtered versus unfiltered far UVC. Does it matter? Yes, it does. Studies show that unfiltered far UVC 222 nanometer light also includes some longer wavelengths, which can damage human cells. What does safer really mean? That the UV disinfection technology adheres to exposure guidelines and isn't harmful to humans. Look for standards marks like CE and UL for product and photobiological safety. Photobiological testing assesses the effects of radiant energy on humans. Far UVC disinfection safer than the sun, and a physics-based approach to killing pathogens that doesn't rely on drugs like antibiotics. Global travel, population increases, urban sprawl, and increased contact between people, animals, and ecosystems contribute to the ongoing likelihood of contact with pathogens that may harm us. We need safe and effective disinfection technology that reduces pathogens now and for the future.